Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is draw debug coordinate system. Let me run our quick little example, and we'll see this little funky guy here. This is our debug coordinate system. It's a little debug object that shows us the normal direction and axes for X, Y, and Z. Let's go ahead and look at the node itself. This right here is going to be our default settings. We're going to go ahead and go through our example here and see how it's set up. Axis location is where in the world is this debug coordinate system going to be drawn. And the axis location is basically the center of it if you assume the things you can't see are there. Well, this is what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and run this. And we're going to run this in eject mode. So let me eject out and select the atom down here. So if you notice, the default world coordinate system is going to have x in this direction, y to my right, and z up. If we look at our debug widget, it's the same thing. x in that direction, well, x is forward, y is to our right, and z is up. But those are the positive coordinates. The negatives are there, they're just not seen. It's assumed they are the opposite directions. So y to the right is y positive, and y to the left is y negative. Same thing with z up is z positive, and z down is going to be z negative. And the same thing with x. So that's why you don't see them. But that's what I mean by our drawn coordinate is going to be the middle, this center point right here. If you assume the other parts are there, you just can't see them. This is where it's going to draw it. The rotation is how much we want it rotated. So for example, let's say it's flipped around on the horizontal axis. That would be 180 degrees on the Z. Now when we run this, it might look the same, but if we eject and grab our world system, you'll notice it's basically backwards. Y positive in the world is to my right, whereas I'm drawing this coordinate system Y positive to my left. And the X, of course, is adjusted. We don't have our Z rotated because we never rotated along our X or our Y, so just that one single coordinate was rotated around the middle. The other items we have are scale, basically how big it is. <clears throat> By default, it's going to be really small at one. For example, if I was to run this, you're not really going to be able to see anything. It's almost negligible. Set to something decent. I set it to 25, for example, and we got what we showed. Duration is how long it exists for in the world. Zero is one frame, which is why I have it currently hooked up to a tick. Anything longer than zero is basically how long in seconds. One second, two second, etc. Thickness is how thick each line is. By default of zero, it's going to be pretty much invisible. You can barely see this. You need a good background. I'd recommend something more along 10% of your scale. So we went for 2.5, for example. And it gives us a, a pretty decent look. You could, of course, adjust that. You know, 50 and 5 is going to give us this result. And it's not horrible. You can, of course, obviously adjust it. Pick whatever works. Thickness is how thick each line is. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our draw debug coordinate system. It draws the X, Y, and Z coordinate axes in debug format on our screen. Location is where the center point is or where those three lines merge. Rotation is how it's rotated and along what angle. Scale is the size. Duration is how long it lasts on the screen. Zero being one frame. And thickness is how thick the lines will be.